I just want to say a few things about the election and hopefully this will kick off more discussion afterwards. I mean, the, the most important thing for us to, to remember and affirm is that Canadians from coast to coast have taken a stand against the war of, uh, in Afghanistan and the stand of Canadians is to bring the troops home now. A lot of people have commented on the fact that this, everything was done in this election not to discuss the war. And most of all, not to discuss that it's an illegal war, that it's a war of occupation, and that a principled stand has to have that as its starting point. That Canada is not going to participate in illegal wars of occupation. So let's think about some of the things that took place on this. Right early in the, in the uh, election, Harper made the announcement where he said, oh, we're going to bring the troops home in 2011. That was supposed to stop all the discussion, end of story, now we're not going to talk about Afghanistan anymore. So the father of a soldier who was killed in Afghanistan said, I don't agree, and gave his reasons. That would have been a very good opportunity for everyone in Canada to, to discuss, well, what is Canada doing there? Because the point, you know, that really came out from Harper's remarks is that if you can say, well, we'll go on this date and we'll come home on this date, you're just admitting to the whole world that you're there, how, as the uh, mercenaries for the Americans. You do their bidding. When they tell you to go there, you go there. Then when they say you come, come home, you go home. That you're not there and you cannot justify why you're there. Because as a mercenary, what are you going to justify? Except that we're part of the plan to turn North America into a base of war and aggression against the whole world? Like, you can't sell that to Canadians. Canadians never are going to agree to it, not in a million years. So, right away, what did they do? They said, oh, he's a liberal. This father of the soldier is a liberal, so we don't have to discuss. Because everything is turned into partisan advantage. Everything is turned into whether you can score points for yourself. So I think that one of the, the victories that we have to you know, say that we have for ourselves is that they were not able, not the media, not the military, not all the pundits, not these parties, not Harper, not Dion, they were not able to convince Canadians to support this war. And they have not been able to and they're not going to be able to. So that's the first thing that we should keep in mind. And for that, then we have to say, well, where, where do we stand? So one of the things that happened in this election was that you really had the movement developing to block Harper. So when people said block Harper, what did it mean? It means we want to block that agenda of war and, and fascism. We want to block the anti-social offensive. We want to block the idea that what goes in Canada is what's good for the few, that what goes for Canada is what the Americans dictate. And you know, I mean, just as an example, in the middle of the election, Harper just sort of throws out, oh, well, maybe we won't uh, send bitumen to, to countries who are, uh, who are, who have a lower standard. Of course, he's not talking about the Americans. Now, just imagine that anyone can say that they're taking a, a stand for the environment, but you don't stand against war. How can you take a stand for the environment when you don't stand against war? Like, let's say that we, we succeed, we in North America succeed. All the American troops have to come home. Well, won't that be good for the environment? Won't be that the single most important thing for the environment to stop all this military uh, construction, spending, destruction, the killing of millions of innocent people, not to mention the devastation of, the, of their homelands, not to mention all the, uh, the destruction to build these war materials. So how can this not be the fundamental thing on the, on the environment? So we, we have to say, you know, quite sincerely, that in this system we didn't succeed in putting this front and center on the agenda the way the people want it put there, the way the people are demanding that it be put there so we can really discuss these things. And so that, you know, in this we can say Harper was denied his majority. 
But what does it mean? Because he just goes ahead and says, well, I have a mandate. 19% of the Canadian people voted for me, so I have a mandate. You know, never mind that 79 or whatever, I may have the numbers wrong, but you know, 81% didn't vote for Harper. But he still has a mandate. And so that's the situation we're faced with. So it means that we have to be more and more active. Now I can tell you that in my own experience during this election, that don't think that people aren't concerned about this. You knock on doors, people tell you, well, we want Canada out of Afghanistan. You go to the high schools, the youth themselves are standing up and they're asking all these candidates, what's your stand on Omar Khadr? Why isn't Omar Khadr brought home? What's your stand on the war? We want the, the uh, troops brought home now. What about the security? All these questions are being put, put there by the youth to all these candidates. So our work, you know, really is cut out for us that we have to turn this situation around where an election where the majority of the people take one stand and the government can carry on with another stand, that that's the situation that we have to turn around. That's what we have to change. That's what we're facing. So we really have our work cut out for us. And, you know, I know that they're going to report on these and they say, oh, just a few people came out and this and that. We few represent the majority, we represent the people of Canada and we are going to begin right away our discussion how do we turn this situation around, what is the lessons from this election. So thank you very much with that I just want to uh, end by saying troops out now! <laughs> Canada out of Afghanistan! <laughs> Bring the troops home now! Bring the troops home now! Bring the troops home now! Elect an anti-war government! Thank you. Okay.